If you're a fan of high-spec Android smartphones, you're probably very familiar with OnePlus 7 Pro, which was released earlier this year to quite a bit of fanfare and featured one of the best spec sheets that we've ever seen in a smartphone. But this here is the OnePlus 7T, the newest device from OnePlus, which may actually be a better buy than the OnePlus 7 Pro. The new OnePlus 7T is a cross between the 7 Pro and the regular OnePlus 7 pulling in the best features of the more expensive model and mixing those with the budget-friendly design of the latter. The result is a well-rounded device, which actually delivers incredible performance wrapped in a body that's just a little bit more user-friendly than what's offered by OnePlus's high-end device. Compared to the 7 Pro, this phone's 6.55-inch display is smaller with a lower-resolution flat AMOLED panel, which, to be honest, isn't as eye-catching but it does have that same 90 Hertz refresh rate. And by not having curved edges, it makes it easier to use while also reducing glare. One of the disadvantages that this phone has though is that eight gigabytes is the only option when it comes to RAM. But in side-by-side -side comparisons, we actually didn't notice any real difference in performance when comparing this device to the 12 gigabyte model of the 7 Pro. This phone does have an advantage though when it comes to processing power since it's using Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 855 Plus, which offers a 5% boost in overall performance. If you're into mobile gaming, this phone here will definitely do the trick. And the processor inside of here does have enough headroom to deliver a smooth gaming experience on the most demanding titles over the next couple years. On the camera front, you do get a total of three camera sensors here, pretty much matching what OnePlus delivered on the 7 Pro with 48 megapixel standard, 12 megapixel 2X telephoto, and then finally 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. And of course, there's a 16 megapixel selfie camera up front. Overall, the image quality is really good, matching what the OnePlus 7 Pro delivers. Daylight shots are nearly perfect, matching what you can get out of most other flagship smartphones, but the phone does struggle just a little bit in low light conditions. But overall, it's significantly better than what OnePlus delivered even just last year on the 6T. If you're among those who always wants the latest version of Android, then this phone is probably the right device for you. Right out of the box, the 7T runs on Android 10, and even during our testing, OnePlus delivered an update to improve the camera performance and overall stability of the operating system. But honestly, we didn't notice any issues before that. With Android 10, OnePlus has kept the same look and feel to its Oxygen OS custom skin, tweaking a few things here and there to make Android slightly more usable than what you would get with a stock Android build. This means you also get the newest version of the navigational gestures that are built into Android 10, which do take a little bit of time to get used to. Swiping in from the left or the right to go back, swiping up and holding to enter the card view, or simply swiping up on the screen to go back to the home screen. Fortunately, Google is going to be forcing all devices upgraded to Android 10 or launching with Android 10 to use these same navigational gestures, so we should all be getting used to it in no time. When it comes to battery life, the 3800 milliamp hour cell isn't the largest one out there, but its performance is actually pretty impressive. Over the course of the week, the phone matched the longevity offered by the OnePlus 7 Pro, offering 8 to 10 hours of screen on time per charge. And since Warp Charge 30 Plus is even faster than before, the phone spent a lot less time on the charger, roughly about an hour to get the phone's battery all the way back up to 100. If you're looking for a high-end Android smartphone, the OnePlus 7 Pro is definitely one of the best options out there, especially the 12 gigabyte model. But that being said, the OnePlus 7T is a much better buy, considering that it's $150 cheaper while maintaining all the best features of the 7 Pro. Even though it doesn't look as sleek and the circular camera bump on the back looks like a hockey puck, the 7T is definitely the device most people should buy. The software and performance are incredible, and at that price point, the only other device that can take better pictures is the $400 Pixel 3a. And that device is in a completely different category. 
So what's your take on this phone? Let me know what you think of the OnePlus 7T and its $600 asking price. And if you're not familiar with the OnePlus 7 Pro yet, make sure you check out our full review. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.